will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. As such, I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Then again, maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? You don't know? Well, let's try again. Where, Mr. Potter, would you look if I asked you to find me a bezoar? I don't know, sir. And what is the difference between monkshood and wolfbane? I don't know, sir. Pity. Clearly, fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? Clearly, Hermione knows. Seems a pity not to ask her. Silence. Put a hand down, you silly girl. For your information, Potter. Asphodel and Wormwood make a sleeping potion so powerful it is known as the draught of the living dead. A bezoar is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat and it will save you from most poisons. As for monkshood and wolfbane, they are the same plant which also goes by the name of aconite. Well, why aren't you all copying this down? Gryffindors, note that five points will be taken from your house for your classmates' cheek.